Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. The question I'm answering today is what's in the package, I guess. I usually say what's in the box, but what's in the package in regards to these? These are the Sentinel Comics custom dice specifically created for the Sentinel Comics role-playing game from Greater Than Game. Personally, one of my favorite superhero role-playing games that's ever been published. Uh, it is based on the Sentinel Comics universe, which actually started with the card game. So what this is is a set of dice. Note they are just standard um, polyhedral dice that you could use in almost any game. But you're not going to want to buy this set for, say, your D&D games, because you got no D20. And almost every modern role-playing game uses D20s. What surprised me about this, and I had no clue about, was there's more than just these dice in this set. There's more than that, which is why I decided to record an unboxing video. So you're going to get to see these the same time I do. There's not, probably not going to take a long time to go through this, but I do want to show off that it looks like there's a baggie in here and the quality of the dice. So let's get to it. Here you have the package. The Sentinel Comics custom dice set comes in. Note it's 15 dice. What you get is three complete sets of dice. And what they have done with this is they have matched the color. Okay, this is nice. This isn't. I'm already impressed because that wasn't stapled or anything in any way. So I was able to just open that up. And then we're going to take this piece off. And then we have a dice bag. Oh, it's very tiny. That is a small dice bag. It says Sentinel Comics. Um, it's a cloth bag that is like silk screened on. It does have a drawstring, two drawstrings. Like at this point, I'm like, these dice are barely going to fit. Then we have a full set of polyhedrals. I'm just going to hold these up a bit here. And what I thought was really cool that they did here is, for one, they use nice big um, icons. Um, but they um, they match the color of the dice in the rule book. So whenever you get an example and it tells you to roll the D6 and the D8, it shows them in red and green and orange. So now I have a set of dice that are also in green and orange, which honestly is fantastic for new players who have never played the game before. Because I think nowadays most people do know polyhedral dice, but if they don't, instead of saying grab the D8, you can say grab the orange one. And you've got three full sets. So I'm gonna take those out. Three full sets of dice. They are nice, solid plastic. Um, they are etched, so there's no way these numbers are going to rub off over time. They're very light, which was a little surprising to me. They roll like dice. There's not a lot I can tell you here. Um, note the D4s are the type with the number at the top, not the bottom. And we're going to put them all in here, and that's it. That's all we need to do for this one. Actually, plenty of room to spare. You can tell. That's how much room is left in the dice bag. Tie it up. We're good to go. Going to a con. Gonna play some Sentinel Comics. I got my dice for me. I see no reason to keep this piece. So that's going in the garbage. I see no reason to keep this. It's going in the garbage. So here you have the Sentinel Comics custom dice set with three sets of dice. There's five different dice, each in a different color by die type that matches the colors used in the rule book, which I honestly think is fantastic for introducing new people to the system. It's actually even the same colored dice they use on the character sheets and the pre-gens and the starter set. I'm going to really love using this for running that game at a con or at a public play event. If I happen to get people who are excited about superheroes but don't have a lot of role-playing experience, it's going to be way easier to say, hey, grab the orange die and the blue die and roll those instead of the eight-sided die. Because I've literally seen people pick up dice and try to count the sides. So that's it for my unboxing of the Sentinel Comics custom dice. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word. You can hit our website at tabletopbellhop.com. And I invite you to join us Wednesday nights on Twitch at 9 p.m. Eastern, where we record the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast with myself and my co-host, Sean. There, we answer your gaming and game night questions. So if you've got a gaming or game night question for me, you can send that to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. Or if you head over to the webpage, there's a form you can fill out to send in that way. Thank you for joining me for this unboxing. Good day and game on.